This row of terraces will soon become familiar to away fans of Premier League clubs after Luton Town gained promotion to the top flight via the playoffs on Saturday. Today, the town came out in force as the team paraded their trophy. Matt Gravely joined the crowds. The Hatters are flying high. Luton Town back in the big time after 31 years. Thousands of fans all lining a one-mile stretch, watching their heroes on the road to the Premier League. That's what football's about, isn't it? Like, community and making everyone everyone happy, putting a smile on their face. You know, these people work hard to come and support us on a Saturday. And, you know, for us to return a favour like this, it's a really good feeling. Today's parade began at Kenilworth Road, Luton Town's home for more than a century. But this 10,000 capacity stadium will first have a 12 million pound update before it welcomes football's elite in August. Awaiting the team's arrival, a sea of orange, filling St George's Square. The stage was set. 15 years ago, these fans almost watched their team go bankrupt. Nine years ago, they were playing in the fifth year of English football. Now look at today, what a difference a Premier League team makes to a community. I think it's something positive for Luton. Luton's always showed the negativity, so this is great. It's got a story to it, a proper fairy tale story. You know, we've, we've done it with no money. We've done it just with uh, togetherness. It means so much to us, honestly. Like, we needed this, and as you can see, the town's crazy at the minute. Rob Edwards has only been leading Luton since November, but has already won over the town. We've got to enjoy this moment now. It's for you guys. Look how many people are here now. Look what it means to you all. Enjoy it. Make some noise. Come on. Let's go again. These fans may soon watch their team in a brand new stadium, paid for in part by promotion. But until then, these happy hatters are just pleased to be back in English football's top tier. Matt Graveling, BBC News.